The hard part is, uh, I think their pressure and their technical skills, uh, very, very good on the ball, and they're very quick to release, and they're unselfish, and I think they played a maximum game today. So the, the credit, first of all, is uh, they scored early in both halves. You know, that's a sign of a team that uh, knows what they're doing here on this grass. I don't think it was our allies. Because they play fast, because they play tight, uh, I mean, turns are tight around the ball, and they, they look to escape and readily find someone, run into space. It didn't always work, but a lot of those episodes, uh, we were on our, you know, we slipped off the grass, and uh, then we had to get back up and give it, give it a second look. So uh, we did our job in doing that. Initially, they did their job in uh, creating footing. You can't just stab at all uh, on this team. Uh, but now let's get to the reality of uh, where we stoned and, and, and totally stopped go in, our, in our ability to go forward to go. No, that, not at all. We had in the second half and even in the first half. But especially the second half, we changed our, our tactical uh, we tried to lengthen our pass out of the center of the field, and uh, Ethan Mathis was again, he, he just couldn't stay in the middle and go both ways and keep fitness attached to his technical skills. So he went on top, Jaden and he, and uh, I thought we, I know, statistically, we just could not find that little bit of luck that needs, we are on goal, on goal maybe five or six times seriously, and uh, the ball found the keeper. He didn't find the net. And uh, that's a credit to the effort that this team uh, was capable of doing. And you just don't know when they're going to crack and, and face someone that, especially on home field here, I think, I think this team being 8-0 on, on home turf will probably turn into some dividends. We're real curious how that will go. But I'm proud of the guys uh, all year long. I'm proud of their resilience. They listened and applied tactical work in the second half that uh, put four or five, six episodes, players going to goal uh, with the last touch. And the last touch, I think, of the game is emblematic of what I'm just saying. You know, Hazard gets a ball. We still play it to him with the seconds left. And what do we want to do? We never died, never felt sorry for ourselves and we still tried to frame the goal and, and put the ball forward. So that's an emblem they can wear uh, very proudly as uh, we exit this tournament uh, early. The, the nonstop effort, the, the ability to go forward and then not get it and reload and not get it again, and that, that, that is just really disturbing to a side. So I like the personality that we left on the field. They, they really left nothing, uh, nothing that went begging. There could have been a lot of shots that never materialized on goal. Instead, yeah, it's one of those things that uh, that's what the game gives you. That's what opponents can give you. But uh, I thought we cracked through in the second half. We just didn't get that, that bit of luck. I know it's uh, you never want to lose in a state tournament. You want to go all the way. But was, is this kind of a shock for you guys? Yeah, we've never done this. And this is for this first time we've ever exited in first game. And uh, that doesn't matter, you know. It, it, what matters is, you know, how was your opponent on that day? Did we look bad? Did we not uh, play within pretty much our wellhouse? Did we not make our good players get to goal? And we did all those things. We did everything that a team needs to do against uh, an early 0-1 deficit, you know, that, that mental fabric of uh, chasing the scoreboard and having to know that, uh, okay. But, uh, you know, yeah, on some free kicks, we had opportunities to get better on some free kicks, but this was a game that we have, we had to, and, and is that fair for a, a bunch of kids like that or this environment where everything you do has to be perfect in order to get on the scoreboard? Perfect. And that's, that's a lot to say about the credit of uh, this Jackson team. But I like the fact that uh, we kept reloading, kept going forward, kept trying. That's, that, 
that's what's important, you know, in life that uh, that you don't give up in a, in a and I think they can collectively stand pretty proud today. It does, even though it's it's a it's an exit from the tournament right away. Curious to see what uh, Jackson has left in him. Thank you very much. This match, uh, neither of you guys had played on, uh, you know, a game on, uh, you know, grass and you know, yep. versus turf. Uh, what was the some of the differences coming in that you had to really adjust to early? Uh, well, it feels kind of choppy. Um, it's tough to make that first touch. Uh, we tend to play uh, really quick one and two touch, and you got to adjust a little bit because the field conditions. Um, you know, uh, Cheyenne seems like they like to play that way too, so maybe it affected them a little bit more than us. Um, but all in all, good game. Well, they've got a couple of speedy forwards at top, and uh, you know, Lopez and uh, Mathis. Uh -huh. How were you able to contain them? It just seemed like you had at least two or three guys, you know, blanketing them all the time. Uh, well, I watched a film on uh, a couple days ago, and I knew Seven was, you know, kind of their go-to, makes their engine kind of run. Um, so my boys were aware of him. He still got chances, um, but second half, uh, you know, we kind of put a man mark on him, and. I'm really proud of my four defensemen. I thought they played really solid today. We haven't had too many shutouts uh, this year, so to get a shutout against a quality team like that's I'm pretty proud of the defense. Obviously, the player you goal today was, was pretty key today. Yeah. Um, Archer stepped up big this year. Uh, it wasn't a goalie coming into the season. Uh, great game today.